Levinson here live at Stoker Stadium for its rivalry showdown. The Grand Junction Tigers taking on the Central Warriors, a packed house tonight. This place has been stirred to a fevered pitch for a big one tonight. You can just feel the energy in this place. We'll tell you where we are right now, but first, let's see how this one started with the first half highlights from tonight's game at Stoker. It's the Central Warriors coming off a hard-fought loss to Fruita and the Grand Junction Tigers who enter this one riding high after a 48-0 beatdown on Rifle as Central's River Westcott kicks it off for rival United Stoker and it's Noah Watkins on the return. And Watkins, I mean, this kid is fast, showing off the wheels, the shiftiness, a great return. Puts the Tigers in business and right down the field they went. And folks, how do you stop this? Just too big. Too strong, big number seven will Applegate. It's seven nothing Grand Junction after drive one, but Central went right down the field themselves. And after missing week one, Central's QB one, Asher Carter is back and just watch what he does. Moving around and finding a wide open man. That's Jamie Padilla in the end zone. What a play by Mr. Carter. Man, it is good to see number three back in action, but the Warriors, they have weapons. Tough to find this level of size and speed elsewhere on the Western Slope. Dom Colosimo, Colosimo is a handful to bring down, but now Asher Carter is moving around again, and he fires it over two receivers, and what a diving grab made by Xavier Chavez. I mean, that is a big play to change the game, and speaking of big, there he is, number seven again, flying. Look at that. Who knew he had such grace? And again, number seven. I mean, what do you do to stop this? Stretching the ball over the goal line. It is impossible to defend, folks. He is just simply too big as the Grand Junction Tigers are fired up. The student section, it's packed as GJ has the 14 to seven lead at the half. And both teams would score on their opening drives of the second half. In fact, Grand Junction scored on a wide receiver pass. Noah Watkins threw a touchdown pass for GJ as the Tigers would have a 21-14 lead before Watkins made another big play. Getting down the field, getting the Tigers in the red zone. And when the Tigers are in the red zone, you know what's going to happen. It's the same way with the Eagles who are playing tonight in Sao Paulo, Brazil. With Jalen Hurts, you can't stop it at the goal line. You cannot stop Will Applegate near the goal line. The man is too big. He did it again for a third time tonight. He just bullied his way across the goal line for a third rushing Tackle touchdown of seven, this one tonight and Grand Junction they got a turnover scored again and they just got another turnover Will Applegate's actually been taken out of the game as Grand Junction they've opened this one open they lead this one 35 to 14 under a minute to go we are at the closing moments here tonight at Stoker Stadium as Grand Junction is going to get to two and oh two dominant wins a 21 point victory here tonight a 48 point victory in week one and they just have shown they told us before the season that they were going to be a real team this year. They were going to be playing good football to not doubt them. And listen, they were my dark horse candidate for a great season this year, and they have lived up to that this season, showing it off 2-0 to start the year. We'll see how they continue throughout the season. Friday Night Frenzy is coming your way tonight at 10. You won't want to miss it here from Stoker Stadium. I'm Big Will Evanson.